Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for December 17th of 2021. Well, it is titled Geminid of the North. So what do we see here? Well, yesterday we saw a large number of meteors in the Geminid shower in the southern hemisphere. Here we see one in the northern hemisphere, and it's a very bright one standing just above the horizon there. And of course, we can see a lot of other things in the sky as well. In addition to the meteor, we see our Milky Way galaxy arcing up above the meteor and going down from the lower left and then arcing up to the top in the middle and then down towards the lower right. We can also see the Pleiades star cluster very close to that Geminid. In fact, just to the left of it, we can see a small cluster of stars, which is the Pleiades. And just to the left of that would be the Hyades star cluster. Another both of those are in the constellation of Taurus. And if we keep working our way to the left, we see Orion and the bright constellation of Orion with the three stars in its belt and the bright star Betelgeuse in the red at the upper left hand side and down below the bright star Rigel, the two brighter stars. Now the brightest object that we see here is to the left of that and that is Sirius the brightest of the stars in the sky of course other than our own sun. So a whole number of bright winter objects there and up above we do see the twin stars Castor and Pollux which are the stars of Gemini. Those are the twin stars in Gemini and this is called a Geminid meteor because they appear to radiate from that constellation. Now it's harder to see with just one uh, meteor. But if you imagine tracing it back, you can see it heading back towards those two bright stars at the top of the image. And if we had a number of Geminids, we would see that they were all pointing in that same direction. Now this is an optical illusion and caused by the fact that all of the part small particles that make up a meteor shower are all traveling together through space in the same direction parallel to each other. And off in the distance, parallel lines will appear to converge, much as they do on here on Earth. If we look at a railroad track or a road, often a very straight road, off in the distance, everything seems to converge together to a point off in the far distance. And that's the same thing that is happening here. We see all see the meteors will tend to converge to what we call the radiant point of the shower, which is how they get their name. And meteor showers are named after the constellation from which they appear to radiate. This one happens to come from the constellation of Gemini, making it the Geminid meteor shower. So that was our picture of the day for December 17th of 2021. It was titled Geminid of the North. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.